Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Wilkin and Sons LTD. This is Tip Tree. This is the original spiced fruit Christmas preserve. And I have the mincemeat. The Christmas preserve was $8.89 and the mincemeat was $8.29 and we bought both of these at Good Foods Co-op. So this is a um, British brand. This is made in England. It's 12 ounces and we are trying both of these on toast because these are uh, fruit, fruit based. So the uh, Christmas preserve it says refrigerate after opening, of course, like you would any uh, jelly or whatever. Um, it has sugar, fruits like Victoria Plums, Damsums, red currants, sultanas, spices, citrus, pectin, and sodium citrate. That's all that's in here. Um, 16 servings are in the jar. One tablespoon is 60 calories. Now, this one does not have a thing around it. Yours does. Oh, that's a little plastic thing. Yeah, Kevin's has a little plastic thing around it. But so, you can tell it was sealed because it didn't open. <laughs> uh, well, you can always tell. Pop -top exactly. Too. So uh, we are going to be trying both of these with toast. So I'm going to get Kevin. That looks nice. Sorry. I had some raw. It kind of looks like an apple butter kind of texture. Just look at it. It's thick. Yes, it's thick. But it, it doesn't seem chunky. I don't know. There's some mm. chunk right there. Okay. I didn't get anything chunky. Mm -mm. That's 100% the, the texture of apple butter. Um, yeah, I didn't get any. I thought it was going to be a chunk. It wasn't. Yeah. Um, it's not a lot of flavor there, honestly. You don't think so? No, not really. I think it's... See, I'm getting a lot of spice. That's what I was gonna do. I'm getting a lot of spice, um, but I don't. I mean, I don't mind. I it taste at it all. more with by itself. Oh. I think the toast killed some of the. Oh, you think spice. so? Yeah. No. It Can still reminds me a lot of an apple butter. That seems weird, but it does. Um, I <laughs> it's think, not quite as appley, but it's. I think the texture does. Um, even some of the flavor does. Like I'm getting cinnamon. Yeah, I know, and it did not mention, it just said spices, mm -hmm. but I definitely think they put a little bit of cinnamon in there. Yeah. Uh, you do get the plums. Um, I don't know about the currants, um, no. but you definitely, you get the, um, I think you get cinnamon and plum. I get cinnamon and kind of a, a, a fruit flavor, which could mm -hmm. be plum, it could be apple, it could be anything. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's mm -hmm. some, some kind of, it, like I said, it reminds me a lot of apple butter. This would not be my choice all the time. No, it's good though. But I do like it. Yeah. I think it's good quality. Yeah. Most of the spice, the Christmassy part is the cinnamon. Absolutely. So now this is mincemeat <laughs> and uh, we have actually bought, Walmart sells jars of mincemeat. Um, big jars. Yeah, big jars. Yeah, we've made like, I've made like mincemeat bars and stuff. There's like two different recipes using mincemeat on the channel. Uh, but this has... Uh, vine fruits such as currants, raisins, sultanas, sugar, apples, apples, cider, rapeseed oil, citrus peel, orange peel, lemon peel. It has glucose, fructose syrup, sugar, citric acid, brandy, hmm. acetonic acid, and mixed spice. That's it. So there is no meat listed in the mincemeat. Uh, one tablespoon is 60 calories. Okay. And this junky. is chunky. I mean, I mean like, <laughs> wow, hello. Yeah, that is, that is, you, the one at uh, Walmart is in like a, a juice. Juice. I'm going to have to do this over the plate because it's. Yeah, it's really. It's loose. It's loose. <laughs> so I'll show you when I pick it up. I would say what it reminds me of, but I won't. <laughs> Does it go in a rabbit hutch? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe at the bottom of the rabbit hutch. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally loose pieces. The kind that they sell at Walmart that I use for a recipe is not loose pieces like this. I should have gotten a spoon for this. Do a neutral? Yeah. It'd be easier for me to just get a spoon for. Thank you. Because, I mean, yeah, this is like, 
Yeah, just eat it. The real deal. It, um, when I first started eating it, it kind of reminded me of fruitcake fruit a little bit, but it's not quite as sweet. But then it develops into just a really rich, like, just fruit uh, mixture. It's really good. That is nothing like what Walmart sells. No, it's very fruity. And then I'm getting citrus, uh, like the orange peel coming through down. That is so, I mean, the one that Walmart sells isn't bad. Mm -mm. There's nothing wrong with it. And if you're gonna do a recipe, the one in Walmart um, is a good one to use for recipes. But that is good to eat just with a spoon. Oh yeah. my gosh. It's oh. not very practical to eat on toast. Uh-uh, no. <laughs> it's because it's very... pieces? <clears throat> yeah, it's very loose. Oh, I love that though. But it's got a good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Do you get, it's, what's funny is, <clears throat> as I was eating it, different flavors were coming through. Mm -hmm. So it's getting like, like I said, it's almost like a fruit flat take, a fruit cake flavor when I first started eating it. And then you get the citrus coming through and then you get the, a little bitterness from the citrus peel. Then you get just the fruit flavor. You do. You get a lot of the uh, the, pe the citrus peels. The, yeah, the, that's kind of what I The peel on. and the orange peel. But uh, those hunks are the, the raisins and the sultanas. Mm -hmm. and, and I really do like that. I wonder if you can mix that with like um, oatmeal or yogurt. You know, put it I in your know. yogurt and mix it in. But this is, it. I, I have not had mincemeat like this. And this lets me know what British people, this is what they're eating. Except there's, most of them does have some kind of meat. They're used to, uh, they're used to this. A chunkier version. Uh, yeah, this this is absolutely wonderful. That's I love good. this. I, I can, would say that it would be good in a tart or something like that. Oh, yeah. Those little tarts where you put it, just fill them in and bake yes. them. And let it kind of run out. Seems like you'd have to use over half the jar, though, to... But if you make the size. small ones, yeah. Um, I, I like the mincemeat twice as much as I do. Flavor-wise, it's much more Oh, it's so delicious. So delicious. But if you want to put it on toast, get the other one because there's you, no easy Yeah, way there's toast. no easy way to put it. You could like take a bite of that and then take a bite of the toast. But yeah, you're not going to be able to do it together because it falls all over the place. So I'll take a picture of it and have it for you at the end so that you can see what we're talking about because... It's very, very, very good quality though. So if you get this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass it up. But I think you're just gonna be eating it with a spoon. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.